So you want to create a neat loading screen kind of animation, I guess is what we'll have to call it. Hey guys, one by touch by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again. Let me say it one more time. We're back in Blender once again. Once again. We're looking at the animation that I said before. So we're going to use default cube today. I'm feeling good for default cube. We're going to go ahead and uh, hit and uh, select my camera. Hit Alt G. Alt R to clear the location and rotation. Hit uh, G Y and move the camera backwards. And R X 90 on my numpad to rotate it 90 degrees. Hit zero to go into the camera's view. And I'm gonna hit G and double tap Z to just scroll the camera back. Just maybe about right there. Looks good. Uh, now for our actual cube, we're gonna use default cube. Hit period on my numpad to zoom into default cube here. Hit tab to go into edit mode, and we're going to change them up a little bit today. So I'm going to go ahead and go to face select mode here. Select the top face, hold down shift, and select the bottom face. Middle mouse button to pan around my scene. Uh, I'm going to hit I to inset this, and hit point 0.1 on my numpad there. So we inset that by point 0.1. I'll do the same thing with the other side. So this side and this side, whatever side is directly across from it, because if you do two sides that are next to each other, You'll, you'll get this, and that's not what we want. So I'm going to do the direct opposites. So I to inset, point 0.1. Same thing over here. I to inset, point 0.1. Hold down Shift to select multiple different ones. All right, so now that we have all the sides, I'm going to hold down Shift and select every single one of these little inset uh, squares. There we go. I'm going to hit um, I one more time to inset this, and I'll just scroll it down to maybe about right there. Um, and then I'll go ahead and hit S to scale them inwards, something like that. Right, looks good. Then I'll do the same thing once again. Hit I to inset, scroll it down a little bit. But this time, I'm going to hit S to scale it out. So we're going to scale it out just like that. So now you can see we have a little bit of uh, detail and depth in there. Uh, now, hit I one more time, just a little bit, just to get that little tiny bit of an edge. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit I, and then zoom it just a little bit, just so it has an edge there. Hit uh, left click to confirm that. And then I'll go up here to actually no we won't do that yet we'll hit s to scale this inwards again and then we can go up here to this little button and select individual origins now i can hit s to scale this up like that so now we have a really really deep inset which is nice which is nice there we go that's what we need so once again tab to go back in edit mode i'm going to change this back to median point hit i to inset a couple more steps here we'll hit uh, we'll zoom it in just a little bit i one more time zoom in a little bit s we'll scale it up then I, I'm just getting a bunch of detail in here. We'll hit I once again. This is a lot of steps, I know. We'll hit I once again, zooming in a little bit. I, one more time. And then I'll hit S to scale it in. And then I, one more time. <laughs> I again, S to scale it up. I'll scale it up a lot, so we'll just scale it up ridiculously. And then I'll go back to uh, individual origins here. Hit S to scale it down. And now we have this little piece that sticks out, which is what I want. And then we will go ahead and hit I one more time. And then S to actually we'll go back to median point and then S to scale it inwards. I'm sorry, no, I one more time after that again. So I have that little lip in there. There we go. And then S to scale it inwards a bunch. So it gets really small. All right. So this is our little cube right now. This is what default cube is looking like. It looks pretty swanky. It looks pretty good actually. Um, so it has a lot of detail in there. If we go back to the camera view, you can see this is what it looks like. It looks like this really cool kind of you know, flat graphic modern art design, which is pretty sweet. But we, we're going to push this even further by going ahead and do some cool, doing some cool stuff with lighting. So I'm going to grab our lamp here and hit G to move it over to this corner over here. So kind of the front right corner, we'll move it over to its facing. Go to the lamp tab, go to area, change this from, uh, change the shape from rectangle to square, and we will rotate it by hitting RZ to, towards the cube like that. Go to rendered, viewport setting up at the top there. And then I'll change this, uh, the size, I'll change the size up to maybe about 10. Size for 10, yeah, looks good. I'll hit uh, Shift D to duplicate this, move it down here, and then double tap R just to rotate it upwards, and RZ to move it over, G to move it there, RZ to rotate, you know, just trying to get it on the back corner, the back and bottom left hand corner uh, back there. So now we have two lamps kind of being shot at both different angles of the cube here so now it's pretty evenly lit if i turn my overlays off it's pretty evenly lit right now you you'd say um this this side has got a little dark space but that's fine um so we will go ahead and select our cube we'll finally do the material now um i want to go ahead and actually do one thing before we do that so hit shift d to duplicate this cube right 
uh, left click to conf to I'm sorry, right click to get rid of that uh, to to cancel the movement. Uh, we'll go to the modifiers tab here. Add a modifier of you guessed it, wireframe. And now you can see if I turn my overlays off, we have this nice little wireframe uh, right here of every single vertice and every single edge of our cube, which is pretty sweet. So I'm going to hit hit apply for that because I just wanted the wireframe just for the edge. Um, then I'll go to the material tab with the actual cube selected, not the wireframe, the cube selected. We'll go to this and we'll, and we'll name it uh, default, uh, no, no, default original. I can't type today. Default original, right? Uh, and then we'll sh turn the metallic all the way up. We'll turn the specular all the way up and the roughness all the way down. So now it's super sharp edge like that, which is super cool looking. Then we'll go ahead and select the wireframe and hit two on this little uh, material here and changes from default original to default new or default wiry, wiry. Yeah, sure. Like that. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and I'll change the base color of this and I'll make it a little bit brighter, a little darker, sorry. We'll make it a little bit darker. So now if I turn my overlays off, you can see we have two different colors of the same exact material. Uh, now the wireframe is a little darker than the other pieces, which looks pretty cool here. So now uh, this does nothing. It just looks good. It doesn't actually do anything. So what I wanted to do is I want to go back, turn our overlays back on, select both the lamps. So hold down shift to select both of these. I'll change my in frame to 100 and my start frame to 0 because pet peeve, you know. I'll go to the scene tab here and change the frame rate to 60 so I have that nice smooth fluidity. fluidity um, and then I'll go ahead and on the 0 frame, which is my first frame, I will hit I to insert a rotation keyframe. I will go to the last frame by hitting this little jump to endpoint button. Open this up a little bit. Hit I. Uh, I'm sorry, no, we'll go to 50. I'm sorry, not, not like that. Let's not, let's not do it like that. Uh, we'll hit RY uh, 180, like that. So now they're rotated. I, rotation. Then we'll go to the end, and then R, uh, RY 180. Now they're back where they belong. Hit I, rotation. So now when we scrub through this, you can see that the lamps kind of switch positions and they kind of just rotate around crazily like that. Now they don't actually move positions because we didn't insert location frames, but I don't really want that because I like the way it looks when it does this. So we'll go ahead and take a look at this now. If I go to zero, if I hit zero, go to our camera's view, turn our overlays off, and I'm going to turn the background to solid black. Um, what we have now is if I play this, that looks awesome. So I came up with this uh, actually by accident, to be honest with you. I came up with this because I was messing around with uh, different materials uh, on a cube that was modeled like this because I was just I just model stuff every once in a while. And I came up with this idea and I thought this would be really, really cool for like a loading screen animation, a little thing down at the bottom of the screen. Like if I move this down here, move it backwards. Like you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Like if I do like this, go to perspective orthographic. There we go. And we do something like this. You guys know that little loading screen animation for video games? How cool is that, right? That's like the coolest. I thought this was really, really neat, so I hope you guys and girls actually enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Super simple, easy to pull off. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.